military checkpoints and armed guards on the streets once again. For Paraguayans who lived through years of dictatorship, it feels like deja vu. Last month, Congress voted to suspend constitutional rights on the request of left-wing President Fernando Lugo. The aim was to give the armed forces greater power to combat the Paraguayan People's Army, a Marxist guerrilla group. You need to take it seriously, because apparently these people are capable of anything. We have already arrested 20 people wanted by the courts. And were they people from the EPP? No, none of them were. Over 3,000 soldiers have been mobilized. The state of emergency allows troops and police in the north of Paraguay to conduct widespread identity checks and ban public meetings. The region is home to a small group of powerful landowners, but also to many poor peasants. I don't have a problem. I have no criminal record and I'm 82 years old. Until recently, the EPP was mainly known for kidnapping wealthy Paraguayans and demanding ransom. But since the recent murder of a police officer, it has become public enemy number one. The president recently traveled to the region to support troops fighting the rebels. How are you? But capturing the guerrilla fighters won't be easy. Senator Robert Acevedo was recently placed under police protection after an attack by drug smugglers. He says EPP leaders have ties to the Colombian FARC. They're well trained, they know the region, and have support among the locals. We know that they're involved in marijuana trafficking. They often provide protection to local cannabis farmers. In the northern provinces, military intelligence yields few results. The EPP benefits from a Robin Hood-style image. Much of the rural population feels neglected by the central government and the landowners and has thrown its support behind the guerrillas. Fighters move around the area with ease. They want to militarize the zone to protect the interests of the richest landowners, especially soy and cattle producers. After many failed attempts, the army is now planning a large-scale search-and-destroy mission to dismantle the guerrilla movement. The future of President Fernando Lugo may depend on it.